Welcome to Smash Orange versus Bright University ECAC playoffs round one. Uh, looks like we're getting started with uh, this has got to be Saw right now on Kirby going against Jacob on Link. Now, again, Kirby is a, just a oh, this must be a lag test. Uh, okay, second lag test. Got it. Alright. Always gotta make sure the lag test up. I understand. It's like, considering it's, it's Smash. Nintendo's netcode is pretty janky. It's just one of those things where you always gotta make sure. Hopefully everything's good on their end. Now, if it is going to be Kirby versus Link, I mean, I, I don't envy Kirby. Uh, Kirby is just a slow character on the ground. Um, oh no, he's well, he's a, he's a, he's okay on the ground. He's a relatively quick character on the ground, but the problem is he needs to run up and shield a lot against a character like Link, and because Kirby's airspeed is yucky, cucky, doo doo. Um, it's a, it's like can Kirby navigate around projectiles in uh, a decent fashion? And, a, and the thing is, Link has decent anti-airing options. The second you jump. Um, Link's gonna anti-air you for it. It's a very similar general game plan to like Samus. It's just m typically a bit more kind of projectiles, and you have to worry about boomerang on the second hit on the way back. Bomb as like a kind of lingering hitbox can be a problem. So you just always need to be aware of those situations. Kirby though can inhale projectiles. Um, I actually in the situation, I don't know maybe arrow is useful. I don't know. Maybe I think inhale is just generally a better. Option in either case, and especially on a flat stage like this, I feel like Kirby um, might have a little bit of trouble. Though it is, there is benefit to being on flat stage as Kirby because you can kind of more consistently get your combos going. Uh, you find your opponent on the same kind of ground as you. Ooh, the last lingering hit of, of dash tech is going to connect. The falling out of the F smash, that was super interesting. 81% though on, on Saw right now. Has to have to be super careful. And Nair on Link is really tough. Uh, and it's like with Link's disjoints, you can kill when you're above him. If Kirby commits to the jump, he can up air you and you die just like that. It's it's in these situations it's gonna be really tough. And then you have to somehow get hit bomb back in order to uh, contest with that sort of area that's being denied to you. You have to be super careful. Dash attack and a low profile under that jump, but damage is racking up on Kirby again. Oh, not able to punish the down air, uh, the down special from Kir Kirby. I actually like the attempt at the down air there. Uh, a little farther to the left, and Kurt and Saw would have been able to get the connecting factor up the top there. Uh, but Jacob is going to base it just enough to hit Kirby on the way up. And you don't want to be above Link when you're Kirby. It's you have to be pretty horizontal to him, but you still have to somehow get him against projectiles. It, it's interesting. I'm uh, not gonna be able to snap the ledge like that. Trying to get the, the cross up with down air, but not able to get the follow up from it. We hit up, up B. Yeah, and this is gonna be very annoying for Saw right now. Really good timing on the throw. Not quite enough to kill yet. Just needs a little bit more percent than that. Anti-airing with Nair. Shielded. Not able to get the punish off of that, though. Yeah, no, he can't get shield punch either. It's Saw really needs to take his time, and he, he's doing a decent job of taking his time, but he's, he has the patience. It's just, what do, what do you really do against a character? Like, like how do you navigate this? And up he's going to take it, putting post down two more stocks. Ooh, weak hit, but that's not going to connect to the to this F smash. Yes. Yes. Saw needed that so badly right there. Really good edge guard right there. 
not going to be able to space that dare effectively enough. You're going to be able to still get grabbed out of shield. I would like Saw Seesaw run in a bit more. Uh, kind of go for grabs. Maybe Tomahawk. But Kirby's aerial speed, not even descending, is kind of not great. So it's a little hard to Tomahawk with Kirby. Really good follow up from that. Putting, putting Link at 58%. Not gonna lie, that's actually not a bad landing option in comparison to keep staying in shield. And that way you can kind of reset neutral. Eventually you will get punished for that though. Ooh, last hit, not able to get protected though. Ooh, I love the trick up right there. Wow, sneaking it out. 125 though, Saw is looking mighty high on damage right now. Can he make a comeback? All Kirby really needs is one good um, gimp though. Cross up, not gonna be able to get the punish on there. Ooh, I uh, gotta fall into the up smash though. Ooh, that was actually really nice from Saw. I like the attempt at the comeback there, but yeah, not gonna be quite good enough. Uh, putting Bryant seven to six on post. Saw made some really decent adjustments by the end. Uh, able to kind of get in. And a lot of good follow-ups. The spacing on the weakness of certain things was really good. Though, it was really scary at the end when the up B out of shield came out. And then he put back air and it somehow missed <laughs> Saw's feet. I was really scared he was going to die right there. And he did, but it, it, caught, it came from the following up smash. So now with ECAC stages. Uh, we have Battlefield, Final Destination, Town and City, Pokemon Stadium 2, and Smashville. And we're getting right into it. I assume this is Torero. So we, we have the Terry counter pick right now. And I assume this is Torero. And on a flat stage, I actually don't think this is a bad... I don't think this is a bad idea at all. I think sending in Terry for this is actually pretty good, especially if you're going to be getting FD again. Terry is very mobile, can get around projectiles. You just need to be careful about uh, how you kind of recover, because Link can hit that leg on your, your way up. And I do think Terry has, like, Link has some really good mashing options uh, on his things like Nair and Fair and whatnot. But Terry, can, you know, is the king of up close and personal when you get actually get in there. Power Wave is going to put block block with projectiles. And you have to be careful, though. Out of shield stuff is going to be a lot better off with for Link with that up B. Shield. Going to catch the landing with side B. Ooh, Power Gazer. But not going to connect. Nice fair to put him back out there. Oh, whiff on the F smash. Got to be careful how you land here. Maybe he'll get some, uh... Ooh, not gonna get the follow-up. That's not gonna be true. Good shield. Whoa! He had just that... Wow, that boomerang almost hit him. Just enough time to call the shield drop and get the power geyser out. Wow, really good stuff coming out of Toreo. That was so good. That was so good. That was timed just soon enough. And uh, Like, any later, he would've gotten hit by that boomerang. Now, I do think that Terry is a very mobile character and can work on a variety of different stages. Uh, Terry also has the benefit of being able to kill off the top with his up B. So maybe, you, I, I, I think he has so many benefits on so many different stages. Uh, I, I know Terry stocks have been going down lately. A lot of people have been putting, you know, Kazuya, more stocks into Kazuya lately. Uh, and Terry hasn't been like the most popular character in like the general meta, but I still think Terry is an incredibly strong character in this game. I don't think he's bad by any means. I think he's super good. Um, and, then, you know, he has such good versatility in how he works. Whereas Kazuya kind of brute forces his way into versatility. It's like, it's not really that Kazuya is versatile. It's just he he's so strong that he can kind of take 
so many hits and just deal with it. And we're getting a K roll. I think Kazuya wins this matchup pretty handily. Um, sure, he has to get in against K roll, but K roll is such a big body, and those combos are going to be way easier to connect. I like the idea. That was actually a really interesting interaction. I like the idea of the of the power dunk to uh, to get above the the crown, but he's actually going to get anti by that up air. I like these crops of something to jab. They're so strong. Going for the spike hitbox, Torero. Wow, you love to see it. Jab, jab, power dunk again. Going for the early kill. Oh, oh, the wind box though. Wow, that was such an early kill. He has to be super careful about that wind box. So early kill for early kill. Things are pretty tied right now. Torero does have a, a percent lead right now. That's good. That that leads closing the gap though. Oh, big damage on a lot of these projectiles. Back air is going to send Torero right back through. Nair. Going for a lot of these, trying to get Nair follow-ups. Like the fair. Jason can come right back off stage. Ooh, going down with a suck. The go meter's online. Opted for a dash attack instead of Buster Wolf. Oh, that, that is such a big hitbox. And Terry's off stage. It's looking a little tougher. for you. That was such a good side B. I like ripping out the early side B. It was such a good option. Oh, up tilt. Super, super careful. No! Oh, what a tech. I didn't think he could tech that. Jab, jab, power. <laughs> it's a bright power dunk. Torero's on fire right now. A little high in damage, though, but he does have the potential for power geyser right now. Oh, oh that's going to get punished. Oh, rolling right behind that power geyser. He's going to get punished with that F smash pretty cleanly. Uh, so even right now. Oh, the Billy Armor is going to stop that jab. Good crack shoot. I would, I, again, I would love to see these players put, use crack shoot a lot more. Crack shoot is such a plus to move. Oh, no. Here's the problem. Ooh, really good up B. I like that up B. Acting as a really good anti air. Oh, that's going to be the weak hit. Oh, no. Oh, not doing, opting for an air dodge soon enough. Putting post. Down to three stocks, and Brian down to four. Wow. That was so close. Torero did, did, actually did really good. I loved the early kill, but I, again, got to be careful of that win box. And I know that was probably a, like a by accident kill on Torero uh, with that win box, but you still got to be careful. Really good stuff coming out of the K rule player. Now, at that stage works super well for K. Rule because having that middle platform, getting you can get such early kills. And we kind of saw that K. Rule does like killing off the top with his up air attack, and that middle platform makes it all the easier for him to kind of reach those high areas. Smashville and Hollow Bastion are really good stages for K. Rule. K. Rule stocks go up <laughs> when when we get stages like Ho Hollow Bastion, able to kill off the top that much easier. Though Terry can make that work too. Uh, we did not see Torero make work of that though, with jab jab into up B. Story, moral of the story, I would not bring, I would not fight K. Rule on Smashville unless you send K. Rule on yourself. Though it's looking like we're getting Hero. We're, so we're getting Super Sonic in right now against K. Rule, and I think this is a very good matchup for Hero too. Um, I mean, Hero just has so much more horizontal uh, coverage than what uh, K. Rule does. Especially on a stage like this, I think this is a really good stage for, for a hero, in this case. Especially because you have some good points. Ooh! No, that armor's gonna go right through that. Now you just waste all of your mana. You gotta deal some damage now. Run off back air. Going, oh, not going able to go for the frame trap. And you gotta be so careful about how you approach crown. For me, I would probably shield it and kind of use menu. Like, you don't need to jump over crown. You can kind of shield it and use menu when you have the option. Down air. Ooh. Oh, that could have been an up smash, dude. Oh my god, that was an up smash. That would have been so cool. Going for the high recovery. Gonna go right over that. Yeah, and then when you jump against K roll, he can just kind of predict that. Oh, not able to get the back air out. And right now, right now, Supersonic needs some mana. Really good air dodge to go around that F smash. But Fair is gonna anti air. I don't know if he has a jump. Oh, is that gonna kill? 
That might kill. No, he has a jump. Kaboom. Oh, no, he doesn't have enough mana, I don't think. I think he realized he didn't have enough mana. Yeah, you do... Wow, the up smash is going to get such a kill on it. Wow, the armor. Oh, the back hit is going to go into fair. I do think... I think he... I really do think Super Sonic's jumping a little too hard. He's not... He's allowing this cable player to kind of catch these landings. He's not able to get menu out as an effective tool in this matchup. I think you're jumping in too hard. You should be... You are jumping in. You should be using fair. But you should probably be trying to time out the cable a little bit. Ooh, the wind box sucked him in. That was so far away. How? <laughs> I don't know how it sucked him in from that far away. That's awesome. <laughs> Putting Bryant down to three and Post down to their last two stocks. So now, now, here's the thing. Hero from behind can be a bit tricky. Mana is a thing. You're spending mana to try and get that first stock. Uh, then you got to get your mana back. It can be a bit of an issue. Um, especially because Hero is such a de relatively defensive character. He does, He's not a very aggressive character unless he has Accelerodal. Um, hopefully, it's they send out a zoner because then you can kind of bounce everything. I'm surprised we didn't see bounce in that the, that matchup more. I think you need to be going for menu a lot more in a lot of these in situations. And now we're going to see their final player for this round. It's going to be Captain Falcon. So this might be a little tough for Hero. Falcon is such a fast character. But at the same time, you have disjoints. I think this is relatively even. Like, sure, you have less mobility on the Falcon, but you have so many good projectiles. You have a disjoint. You can contest Falcon. You just got to make sure you keep him out. I actually like this color for Falcon. It's my favorite color. Good grab in the back throw. Probably would have down throws into fair. Air, to side B. Good spot dodge to get the Raptor boost up right there. C gonna catch the tech with a flame slash. Ooh, rolling out. Gonna get hit by Raptor boost. Oh, not able to get the cross up unfair. I thought he had that. Oh my. How much damage did that knee do? That was such a raw knee. Yeah. I think there needs to be a bit more menu and, or a bit more specials. Sometimes you can do up B out of shield as hero and it works pretty decently. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be a punish on up B. Oh my god! Really good down air to catch that up smash. Uh, up there. It's a bad position. Ooh, really? I really like that up B, actually. Oh, that's gonna be... Oh, my... Not able to get the punish. <gasps> Ooh. Accelerado. Really good jump. It's the air mobility makes it so hard to catch Hero with that up B. But still, right now... Right now, Super Sonic is... Uh, coming from behind right now. With such high percent, he needs to take the stock now and trying to get some damage going into the next stock. Oh yeah, that move is so, has such a big range you cannot grab it. And up airs. Back throw. No throw off stage. 
Uh, too close for Kaboom. Kaboom goes so quick. Zoom. Good fair. Then that is going to seal up the kill. So, percents. It's looking really tough for Supersonic right now. 40% with the last stock. Ooh, going for the cheesy. Trying to get the, the early kill with Whack. But not able to get it. The higher damage, the more likely it is. But even at zero, there is a chance that the that the kill can occur. So I do not I do not play Sonic. Oh, jumps burns. You gotta do an, an up B. Able to make it back. Good grab. Oh, and that's gonna send him right off. Not enough to kill though. Oh, gonna catch the recovery with up B. And that is unfortunate. Putting post down. Uh, to the last stocks. Now Bryant is up 1-0 against Post. Alright. So now the bracket resets. We're up 9 to 9 stocks again. So 9 to 9. And at the start of the round, we have Battlefield, Found Destination, Town and City, Pokemon Stadium 2, and Smashville. Um, these matches were relatively close. I think... I don't know if you change a whole lot when it comes to post. Um, I do... I will say Saw at the start had a kind of a tough break. But was able to adapt and almost bring it back um, near the end. I do say you start with Saw again. Might as well. Um... If, if you get the link again, he was able to kind of adapt to that pretty decently. Otherwise, you could start it with Terry. Uh, but Terry is a heavyweight. He's, he's actually heavier than I thought he was. Terry is almost almost super heavyweight. He's, he's actually really heavy. He's heavier than Snake. I didn't realize that. But um, you could put Terry first. But because of his weight, you, you tend to want to put him closer to the end in Cruise, in my opinion. Weight tends to... Uh, work a little better. You live a little longer. You could also send you could also send Supersonic uh, out on the start as Hero. Uh, I would actually maybe put Hero in the mid of the bracket and then put Terry at the end, personally. But that's just me. And we're probably I don't know. I would probably want to see everybody go to Pokemon Stadium too. Uh, it's just even. And considering. Considering the, the character lineups, I think PS2 would be just a safe pick for everybody. Especially against... You don't want to take K. Rule to one of the uh, flatter stages, like Smashville. Um, well, Smashville particular. Everything else is relatively fine. Battlefield... Um, it's probably, Battlefield's probably a decent stage for K. Rule, but I think other characters can get more out of Battlefield. So let's see who Post is sending in first. And we're getting the run back. We're actually getting... We're actually getting the Link player versus Kerb, uh, Saw again. I actually really do want to see this run back. I think Saw can actually come out on top at this time. Saw was able to turn around quite a bit before. I Then again, I do not like the stage choice for Saw. I would pick a different stage. I think this is more, way more Link favored. Well, uh, I said this last time. I don't know. I can actually see it either way. It's just... It, I think Link gets a little bit more than Kirby, but Kirby can get some stuff going here. Ooh, that's going to be a punish. Ooh, going for arrow. Interesting. Let's see what he can do with this arrow. Uh, the, I don't know about these down bees, but not able to get the grab off on that, though. Man, this is so tough right now. Honestly, I would probably keep inhale. I don't know if arrow means a whole lot in this matchup. 
Cross up. I'm gonna, still gonna get the grab though. Gonna be off stage. Yeah, maybe that's gonna get punished with up the out of shield. Fading back with that up B. Uh, up B is still gonna take it, yeah. So this is putting post down one stock against a Bryant. Dash attack. I'm gonna put Slink at a disadvantage. Weak, weak hit. Gonna, that death is gonna get punished though. You can see right now, Saw is having such a tough time navigating uh, a lot of the area that we need to get the phone for. But gonna read the drop shield with that F smash. Only 26% on Saw right now. Can Saw bring turn this around? Mm, uh, F throws 69 on Saw. They're gonna get bomb 78%. Bomb again. We're now getting the kill percent with bomb. Right, does he even need to jump? Good roll to like get the counteract that, but it is gonna get punished with an air. And up B. This is looking so tough. Kirby has such a tough time landing sometimes. He's so slow in the air. Good dash attack. At 150, though, this is almost anything that's gonna kill Kirby at this point. And, all, and again, that stock's going to get taken for post. Only 30% on uh, Bryant's link right now. Up B is going to catch as the anti-air. F throw. Side B. Uh, going to punish all these, all these special attempts. Hold on, I'm trying to was, was he going for a parry or did that shield poke? Good grab. I want to see, I would like to see Kirby Kid. Sorry, Kirby Kid. I would like to see Saw grab a little bit more. But again, I guess a character like him is kind of tough. Grabbing is kind of a luxury. <laughs> oh, that was an interesting read, but missed spacing it. Oh, able to get the kill, evening it up. This is actually in a slightly better situation than it was the previous round, to be honest. Uh, bomb not gonna quite get the kill. Uh, yeah, gonna, that's... Like the Nair, but you're gonna get some of the disadvantage again. Bomb's gonna send the opposite way. Good throw, fair. Uh, th Oh my god. Not able to get these connections. Going to jump right into that up smash. At that point, it's tough to read, but you should have stayed low profile. Kirby has the benefit of having a small body, so sometimes you can crouch and miss those attacks. And have those attacks whiff all together. But that is going to put Bryant down to 7. And Post down to 6. So same start as the last round. So now Post needs to send in somebody against this Link player. I probably, at this point, I would probably send in Torero. I think Torero did pretty well last time. Um, you could send in Hero. You could send in Supersonic. But I think Link is a more solid projectile character than Hero. Though Hero can bounce. Actually, I might change my vote. Bring in Hero, but he needs to focus on getting bounce and using menu a bit more.
we are getting Torero again. I don't blame. I don't blame sending in Torero. I think he did well in this matchup, and he can. And he has a. He has tools that can kind of help against Link, especially with Power Wave, and keeping Bomb at bay. Three, you just gotta be careful about how you jump. One, go. And we're gonna get those. Yes. Right down to two, down to one stock on this Link. Yes. Ooh, side B gonna catch that gonna catch that drop. Good punish. Not even to get the cross up. Ooh, Posty Esports 2 raiding with party. Hello everybody. <laughs> right now we have Smash Orange playoffs. Uh, Orange is coming up from a little bit from behind right now. But we'll see if Torero can turn it around. At 73% though, he's the lead it well, the the lead on Bryant right now is expanding a little bit. Going for the power dunk. I'm gonna miss the spike hitbox though. I'm gonna jump a lot over a lot of these interactions. Back throw, yep. You gotta be so careful on the ledge against Link's projectiles. Jab jab power dunk, not enough to kill yet though. 106 on Link. Um, yeah, a little bit preemptive. Yeah, going for the up air, waiting for the option. Good power dunk. Power dunk is really good at altering your trajectory. Gonna get hit the spike hitbox. Power gazer's not gonna get the two frame. Oh, that's a put it. Oh, that could have been a side B punish with a death. Oh, power gazer gonna catch the ledge hang. It's really great coming out of Torero. Holding on to that stock. Putting Bryant down to six. Torero showing what he's got. So this is looking like a pretty clean <laughs> recreation of the last round with Torero evening it out. I assume at this point we're going to be getting... Uh, who's our second player? Oh, it was the K rule. Yeah, I assume we're getting K rule. I think K rule um, did well against Torero last round. Able to clutch it out against Torero. But I do think Torero... I think Terry does have the benefit in that matchup. I think... I do think Terry can pretty handily win against K. Rule, of course. T K. Rule's such a big body. Um, I just wouldn't. I personally would not bring K. Rule to Smashville. I would bring him to something uh, a bit, maybe a, a little wider, so that you have more stage to kind of move around um, his projectiles. He doesn't have a middle platform to kill off the top. Especially, I especially say that because we have not really seen Torero use jab jab up b to kill off the top which he could do that to make it smash well work in his benefit but we haven't really seen him try to do that so if he's not going to do it he might as well not even bother going to uh smashville And we are getting K roll. So I do think it's it's interesting. It is an interesting matchup because belly armor is a thing that Terry needs to worry about a lot of the time. Especially with things like F tilt and Nair. Uh, if you if you're not careful with how you space your Nair, where you're hitting K roll on his body. Oh, this this stage. I don't know if I agree with bringing K roll here, especially because Crown is such. It's like the, almost the entirety of the stage. If you have to be so careful if Cable kills you off the top. Here you go. That was such a lucky recovery. Yeah, you, and you can't jump. You can't roll there to either. That that uh, that covers so many options. Yeah, you can't roll there. You you need to like time it. Oh, on the stage spike. He could have tech that, but I I don't I don't blame him for not being able to get the tech. You got the cross up. Good crack shoot. Not able to punish that air dodge though. This is the kind of the position you do want to put K roll in. You want you do want him to be like above you a little bit. Um, though he can belly armor through certain things. Oh, I thought that was an SD for a second. Yeah, belly armor there gonna 
Stop the jab. Good jab to get the arm. Eh, you can't have to... You need to, like, grab in those situations so you can avoid belly armor altogether. I really like avoiding that in direction altogether. That move, I think, oh, oh, goes above the, uh, the blunderbuss suction. Oh, and a really good cross-up. That could have been a grab. I like the fade back. Oh, that was such, that was, the cross-up was so unfortunate there. A lot of these off-stage power dunks, you have to be timing them so well, or else you give up all that stage control. You have to be so careful. Yeah, you can't roll. Torero keeps rolling from ledge there. Ooh, good cross-up. Oh, not gonna get the follow-up, though. That should have been Jab Jab Uppy, I think. And yeah, up smash is gonna take it. Uh, extending the lead for Bryant right now. Torero needs to take this stock. Back row, move around off bear. Really good up B. Profiling. That that suction has gotten him so many times. I want to see Jab Jab Uppy. He can kill with Jab Jab Uppy. Yeah, and that's going to be spike. And that's going to be a three stock, putting Post down to their last three stocks against Brian's remaining six stocks. This is looking mighty tough for Post right now. There were. That's. K Rule gets a lot of worth if he's able to hold on to percent because K. Rool is such a big body. If you're not able to snag that kill, that's granted with every character, but especially K. Rool. He, he gets rage, can kill all of that much earlier, and it's, you know, he can live generally longer because of that weight, so. It's all the tougher. Here we have Post's final player, uh, Super Sonic on Hero. So, whew, Post is in a bigger disadvantage than one in the previous round. It's looking a little tough right now. But Hero does have the tools to keep K. Rule at bay. You just you need to use menu, neutral B as much as you can, side B, things that can zone out K. Rule. That did that catch his ledge hang? That was really interesting. Off. Gonna, oh, oh, that almost caught the jump. I'm looking to cover. Oh, he did. Really good taking the, the back air is gonna get the spike. Oh, this is so unfortunate for Post right now. This is so unfortunate. There, the up throw. The damage is racking up. Catching the T doesn't have a jump. He has doesn't have a jump. He has to air dodge. Almost getting spiked right there. So firing it the wrong way. Not able to get the punish on the footstool. He doesn't have a jump again. He needs to use the up B right here. He needs to use the up B again. And getting the back hit. Yep, putting post down to their last stock. Looking mighty grim right now. Supersonic, let's see if he can turn something around. Get to snag one of these one of these stocks. Not able to spot dodge right through that grab. Back air. Oh, the reflector on that attack is going to get the kill. And that is going to put Bryant up 2-0. And that is going to be it. Bryant wins 2-0 over post. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. But there were, like, there were a few things in there. Um, it was very unfortunate that Torero wasn't able to snag uh, a kill in that previous round. And when you're on a flat stage like that uh, against K. Rule. You really need to make sure you're keeping him out of your character. You know, be fishing for things like Bounce. Bounce does such a good job at preventing K. Rule from using things like Crown and uh, Blunderbuss. 
And his big body and his air mobility makes it hard to get in on Hero, especially if he can anti, uh, anti air with fair and things of that sort. But you, if you start approaching K. Rule, then that's when things start getting really iffy because K. Rule does have good inter close interactions with things like Nair, uh, anti airing you with fair. You generally want K. Rule to try and come to you and then kind of combo further from there. So really, kind of unfortunate, but hey, it's how and how it's how it works sometimes in this game. Uh, you win some, you lose some. But that is going to be it for Smash Orange versus Bryant University. Uh, I've been Frisco. Later tonight, maybe. Later tonight, there might be Smash Purple round two uh, in like 15 minutes. Uh, I don't quite know, though. Uh, we will see, though. Maybe I'll be streaming another match a little later on in a little bit. Uh, otherwise... We will see you guys next time. Thank you.